Despite its abundant resources and potential, Africa faces challenges, one of which is the widespread prevalence of corruption in many of its countries. Corruption, defined as dishonesty or criminal activity committed by individuals or organizations in positions of authority, is a widespread problem that stifles development, slows economic growth, and undermines trust in public institutions. The Research Index consistently ranks several African countries as among the most corrupt in the world, emphasizing the need for concerted efforts to address and combat corruption across the continent. Corruption may include many activities including bribery and embezzlement, though it may also involve practices that are legal in many countries. The Corruption Perceptions Index is an index that ranks countries by their perceived levels of public sector corruption on a scale from 100 very clean to zero, highly corrupt. Greed and abuse of entrusted power are frequently cited as root causes of corruption in Africa. Individuals and organizations in positions of authority may use their positions for personal gain, diverting resources intended for public benefit into private hands. This undermines public services, erodes trust in government institutions, and limits opportunities for long-term development. Fighting corruption necessitates comprehensive strategies that include transparent governance, strengthened institutions, and a dedication to accountability and the rule of law. Addressing these issues is critical for maximizing Africa's potential and creating an environment conducive to equitable development and prosperity. The Corruption Perceptions Index CPI, is a useful tool for estimating the global prevalence of corruption and it defines corruption as the misuse of public power for private gain. Despite the widespread belief that poverty is a root cause of corruption, the CPI challenges this notion, pointing out that the wealthy, who have amassed their fortunes through the embezzlement of public funds, frequently play a significant role in corrupt activities. This shift in perspective highlights the role of greed and abuse of power in corrupt activities, as individuals in positions of authority use their influence for personal gain, resulting in a variety of negative consequences for society. It is critical to recognize that combating corruption necessitates a multifaceted approach that includes not only economic factors, but also changes in governance structures, legal frameworks, and societal attitudes toward corruption. Nations can work together to reduce corruption and promote equitable development by encouraging transparency, accountability, and ethical behavior. Furthermore, establishing mechanisms for reporting and investigating corruption, as well as strict legal penalties for those found guilty, can help to foster a culture of integrity and trust in societies. With the kind of manpower and natural resources in Africa, the continent shouldn't be lagging behind in basic amenities and good life for its citizens. Without much ado, let us provide you with the top 10 most corrupt African countries. Number 10. Somalia Somalia is consistently ranked among Africa's most corrupt countries, with significant challenges in combating corruption due to the current state of unrest, anarchy, and insecurity. The absence of stable governance structures, combined with prolonged conflicts, has created an environment conducive to corrupt practices. Bribery becomes more common in an environment of political instability and insecurity, with some government officials vulnerable to bribes. This jeopardizes the integrity of public institutions and undermines the rule of law, as some officials may turn a blind eye to illegal activities in exchange for personal gain, exacerbating the Somali government's difficulties in establishing effective governance and anti-corruption policies. Somalia's high corruption rates contribute to a cycle of underdevelopment, stifling efforts to build a stable and prosperous country. Addressing corruption in Somalia requires a comprehensive approach that addresses not only the immediate symptoms, but also the root causes of political instability, insecurity, and a lack of effective governance. International assistance, combined with local initiatives aimed at establishing transparent institutions and instilling a culture of accountability, is critical for Somalia to break free from corruption and create conditions for sustainable development. 9. South Sudan South Sudan is prominently ranked among the most corrupt countries in Africa, owing to the pervasive issue of bribery that plagues various aspects of the country's operations. Bribery appears to be deeply ingrained in both the public and commercial spheres of South Sudan, 
where success in many endeavors, including business activities, is frequently dependent on the willingness to offer bribes. This creates an environment in which conducting commercial transactions or navigating bureaucratic processes becomes extremely difficult without resorting to corrupt practices. Businesses seeking to operate smoothly may be forced to establish government affiliations or, in effect, purchase favorable conditions through corrupt means. Furthermore, South Sudan's judicial system is corrupt, exacerbating the country's problems. The compromised integrity of the judicial system not only fails to effectively combat corruption, but also contributes to a broader sense of impunity and injustice. A dysfunctional legal system feeds the cycle of corruption and stifles efforts to establish the rule of law, jeopardizing South Sudan's prospects for stability, development, and effective governance. Addressing corruption in South Sudan requires comprehensive reforms aimed at both the public and private sectors, as well as a commitment to institutional strengthening and the principles of transparency and accountability. 8. Sudan Sudan is regarded as one of Africa's most corrupt countries due to the widespread and systemic prevalence of corruption in various sectors, with a particularly noticeable impact on the economic domain. Corruption in Sudan takes many forms, ranging from bribery to embezzlement, and it impedes the effective operation of critical economic institutions. This widespread corruption poses significant challenges to economic development and impedes the realization of inclusive growth by siphoning off resources that could benefit the public welfare through illegal means. The economic consequences of corruption in Sudan highlight the critical need for comprehensive anti-corruption measures and reforms that promote transparency, accountability, and ethical behavior in both the public and private sectors. In addition to economic challenges, Sudanese authorities face political corruption, which complicates the country's governance landscape. Political corruption in Sudan is characterized by the abuse of power, in which those in positions of authority use their positions for personal gain. The prevalence of favoritism and nepotism within political structures undermines the principles of fairness and equitable governance, eroding public trust in institutions that are supposed to serve the country's interests. Addressing political corruption in Sudan requires strong anti-corruption initiatives that target the root causes of corrupt practices while also promoting a culture of integrity, ethics, and accountability in the political arena. 7. Guinea Bissau. Guinea-Bissau is ranked seventh among the top 10 most corrupt African nations, posing a significant challenge to the country. Corruption has infiltrated various levels of the system, causing dysfunction in previously organized government departments. This systemic corruption harms the economy, exacerbating poverty by allowing those with wealth to benefit from corrupt practices while the less privileged suffer. The profound economic impact highlights the urgent need for comprehensive anti-corruption measures to prevent the spread of corrupt practices and restore integrity to Guinea-Bissau's governance structures. Despite the obvious challenges posed by corruption, Guinea-Bissau's government appears to be failing to effectively address the issue. Corruption has spread throughout the country's judicial, public, and private sectors, forming a complex web that undermines institutional functioning. The failure to take decisive action against corruption allows it to thrive, impeding progress, perpetuating inequality, and undermining public trust. A concerted effort to combat corruption, combined with reforms that promote transparency and accountability, is critical for Guinea-Bissau to break free from the corruption cycle and pave the way for long-term development and social justice. 6. Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea faces significant challenges in terms of corruption, with reports indicating alarmingly low levels of control over corrupt practices. The pervasive nature of corruption has eroded citizens' faith in the government's ability to function effectively and in the best interests of the public. Instead, it appears that public officials are primarily motivated by personal gain, which contributes to a culture of corruption. The leadership of Equatorial Guinea has come under fire, and there are widespread concerns that corruption has become the norm in the country. Bribery is prevalent in Equatorial Guinea's law enforcement and judicial systems, which is a concerning aspect of corruption. Citizens pay bribes to law enforcement and judges in order to obtain special treatment and favors. This practice takes place openly, 
even in the presence of eyewitnesses, emphasizing the audacity of corrupt activities. Comprehensive anti-corruption measures and reforms are clearly required to restore public trust, ensure accountability, and create a more transparent and just governance system in Equatorial Guinea. 5. Libya Following the fall of Gaddafi's regime in 2011, Libya descended into a prolonged period of chaos and turmoil. The economic fallout has been severe, with both the public and industrial sectors suffering significant declines exacerbated by rampant corruption. The once thriving oil sector, a critical component of Libya's economy, has become a breeding ground for corruption and vandalism, exacerbating the country's economic problems. The instability in the oil industry exacerbates the Libyan people's economic struggles. Furthermore, the commercial industry in Libya is plagued by internal strife, as state-run businesses arbitrarily and illegally dominate the market, suffocating any potential competition from private enterprises. This monopolistic control not only undermines ethical business practices, but it also stifles economic growth and innovation. The prevalence of corruption and the lack of a stable business environment are formidable challenges that Libya must overcome in order to rebuild its economy and foster a more transparent and sustainable future. 4. Burundi Burundi is dealing with a rising tide of corruption, and it appears that a comprehensive societal analysis and policy review are required to address the country's long-standing challenges. The current policies and anti-corruption agencies have proven ineffective in reducing the burden of corruption, as evidenced by persistent and even rising corruption rates. Failure to combat corruption has far-reaching consequences, fueling unrest and instability in the country. Burundi's rising corruption levels are not only harmful to the country's economic health, but they also pose a serious threat to its political and social stability. Corruption can erode public trust in institutions, stifle economic growth, and exacerbate social disparities. Addressing the root causes of corruption through a thorough analysis of societal factors, as well as redesigning policies and institutions, is critical for Burundi's freedom from corruption and fostering a more stable and prosperous future. Number 3. Democratic Republic of Congo The Democratic Republic of the Congo, DR Congo, is plagued by a pervasive culture of oppression and suppression, which specifically targets those who dare to speak out against the corrupt government or attempt to counter its corrupt practices. The existing democratic system appears fragile, lacking the robust mechanisms required to effectively challenge the corrupt tendencies of the country's politicians. The lack of a strong and accountable governance structure creates an environment in which corruption can thrive unchecked, Internal security in the Democratic Republic of the Congo is a major concern, exacerbated by a lack of control over the country's own army. The country is embroiled in ongoing struggles for control and power, with frequent clashes erupting between the already weakened national forces and various local militias, both within and outside its borders. This precarious security situation not only perpetuates internal instability, but also impedes effective anti-corruption efforts, resulting in a complex web of challenges that the DR Congo must address in order to achieve stability and transparent governance. Number 2. Chad Chad is dealing with security challenges exacerbated by insurgency, as well as a pervasive issue of corruption, which has a significant impact on its economy and undermines the enforceability of the rule of law. Corruption in Chad exists in a variety of sectors, with many people acting as if they are above the law. Despite the existence of anti-corruption legislation and sanctions that have the potential to deter corrupt practices, perpetrators, many of whom hold positions of power, appear to be immune to such legal measures. Chad's legal system faces challenges in effectively enforcing anti-corruption laws, as those in power may use their positions to target and sanction perceived enemies, such as government critics or opposition members. This fosters an environment of impunity in which corruption thrives and the rule of law struggles to survive. To address the root causes of corruption and foster a culture of transparency in Chad, comprehensive reforms must be implemented, not only in legal frameworks, but also in institutional strengthening and accountability promotion. 1. Angola Angola, emerging from nearly three decades of conflict and instability, 
faces significant challenges due to weak governance and widespread corruption at all levels of society. Corruption in Angola manifests itself in a variety of ways, including bureaucratic, political, and grand corruption, all of which have negative consequences for public resources and state assets. The deeply ingrained patronage system operates outside of formal state channels, contributing to the perpetuation of corrupt behavior. The extractive industries, which are critical to Angola's economy, have seen a great deal of corruption and mismanagement. While the government has implemented reforms in recent years, particularly to improve revenue and budget transparency, Angola's overall legal and institutional anti-corruption framework remains severely inadequate. Despite a call for a crackdown on corruption in 2009, addressing systemic issues will necessitate ongoing efforts to strengthen institutions, improve governance, and foster a culture of accountability in the country. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up 